Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 9th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm gonna talk about wildfires, but not just wildfires in the US West, wildfires from a global perspective as it relates to human caused climate change. But before I do that, I'd like to call your attention to a few quotes from Dr. Michael Mann. Dr. Mann has been talking quite a bit about the wildfires in the US West, which many scientists and many researchers had previously predicted would become a real issue if the earth warmed even by just a bit. And unfortunately, the increased frequency of large fires and the increased length of fire season in, to in some cases encompass the entire year it is now something that is being realized as a result of human caused climate change. And this is something that we were warned about as, as being an impact. And unfortunately, it looks like that that is one of the tipping points that we have already crossed, meaning that we've already crossed into a regime of much more intense fires and much more much larger fires and, and much more dangerous fires, quite frankly, for the US West. Now, I'm, I'm gonna read some quotes from Dr. Michael Mann because I think he's just been spot on in all of his various interviews. And I'm really glad that various media sources are starting to put him on television and, and interview him because I think he's an excellent messenger for human caused climate change, being a scientist and also being a, a smart and, and sharp and sometimes fun person. So, so I encourage you to watch Michael Mann on media if he does come up. So here are some quotes. From Democracy Now!, climate scientist Michael E. Mann on the connection between raging wildfires in the Western US and climate change. It's not rocket science. If you warm up the planet, you're going to get more intense and longer heat waves. And from a recent quote on, on, at On Point Radio, Michael Mann says, we've seen the enemy and it is human-caused climate change in relationship to these fires. Now, with human-caused climate change, where are we most concerned about wildfires increasing in intensity? And in the most simple aspects, it's where it's getting hotter and where it's getting drier. Now, there are a number of other aspects as well. It, one of them has to do with vegetation coping with climate change. Another has to do with invasive species having more impact on the health of vegetation and, and other aspects that impact the health of vegetation. But the primary issues are if you increase temperature and if you increase dryness, then you greatly increase fire risk. Now, where is it getting hotter and where is it getting drier? So the issue with human-caused climate change is that pretty much everywhere is getting hotter. So if you're looking at heat as it relate to wildfire risk, the heat element and the increasing heat element is happening, happening everywhere. So, so that side of the equation is ubiquitous. You got more heat everywhere due to human-caused climate change as it relates to fossil fuel burning, pumping heat trapping gases into the Earth's atmosphere. So, so, so that aspect of fire risk is ubiquitous. Now, there are other aspects of the climate system that, that are changing that might tamp down fire risk in some regions, and that has to do with increasing rainfall. Now, there's there, there's some debate or, or, and, and, and a bit of a, a, a finer point here in that rainfall, unfortunately, with human-caused climate change does tend to occur in more intense bursts. So with higher temperature, you get heavier rainfall events and more intense rainfall events. But you also have longer periods of, 
of, of drier conditions. So, so even in wetter regions and regions where rainfall is increasing, you might also see an increased risk of wildfire as temperatures increase and the period between intense, more intense rainfall events might lengthen. But overall, we're looking at drier regions and hotter regions where the wildfire risks would tend to increase. I'm going to check the time here. So this is the global drought monitor, which shows um, soil moisture deficits or excess over a three month time period. And as you can see here, that large regions of the world are presently experiencing drought in addition to increased temperatures. And it's in these regions where we would tend to see the greatest increase in fire risk. Now I'm gonna look at the global fire map for today. So th this is a NASA map. And what I've done is I've enabled it to show areas where there are fire hotspots around the globe. And it, just remembering the, the, the moisture deficit map, we can see that many of the regions where there was moisture deficit and that are now experiencing warmer than normal temperatures are also experiencing large outbreaks of wildfires. Now, as for regions where we are most concerned about wildfire risk increasing, I'd just like to point out that the Arctic is warming, one of the reason, regions that's warming the fastest, and the high north in the northern hemisphere. And this region is, is one that we're looking at seriously for increased fire risk, and we're seeing an increased prevalence of wildfires in this region. The U.S. West is one that has been highlighted as a hotspot for increasing fire risk. And also the tropical rainforests show an increased fire risk with human-caused climate change, particularly because the moisture cycle tends to be broken as the earth warms up. The rainforests have, have a problem staying wet. They tend to dry out. And as temperatures increase and rainforests dry out, and there is increased fire risk. So that's, that's just a, a few global hotspots for increased fire risk. Now there's one more monitor that I'd like to show you and just that, that I just want you to think about. And this is the global fire index as is provided by NASA, which includes wildfire risk for regions of the world over a one month period. And so in this case, this is August 4th through September 3rd. Now regions in red show the highest potential for fire risk and regions in yellow and orange show heightened fire risk. And looking at this map, we don't really see very many regions that don't show at least some heightened fire risk. Now this is occurring presently with global temperatures at one to 1.2 degrees Celsius above 19th century averages. So overall, human-caused climate change increases fire risk for many regions. There are a number of hotspot regions that we are most concerned about. The main driver is rising temperature and increased risk of drought for certain regions due to human-caused climate change. But overall, the rising temperature signal does provide a driver for wildfires. So thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.